Well, I'm just uh, driving through some of the Lake Charles area where, I mean, there's just block after block of just damage everywhere. Houses damaged everywhere. Buildings damaged everywhere. Um, uh, Laura just took out all of the power. Here's power lines hanging down. Uh, very dangerous. That's power line a couple feet away from me. Uh, here's a, another house that was destroyed. Trees everywhere. Here's a here's a tree uprooted and just it fell on that house. I mean, it's just. I mean, there's just so much, uh, so much damage. Um, like I, I can't drive through here because there's power power lines down, um, but it's just it's just damage everywhere. So I'm gonna have to reverse. I don't want to try to drive over this. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna get out. Get out for a second. And uh, it's it's nighttime. Uh, I'm in Lake Charles, and I definitely don't want to be fried on camera here but this is a power line just on the ground I, that's got to be dangerous as well but there are certain areas where you could see where it's just tree after tree damage after damage destruction everywhere and debris everywhere um, just thought I'd take a, a little bit of a closer look. And right here, this was a humongous tree that was just uprooted. And I've been seeing tree after tree uprooted throughout everywhere. And miles after miles of no power. So people were here with no power. See, this is a gigantic, it's nighttime. And I wish I could view it a little bit better and not and there's power lines this is a gigantic tree and once again it's nighttime I'm trying to come back in the daytime so I can record this a little better but just